What is going on you guys? My name is Josh. This is my beautiful wife Haley and this is my friend Rick also known as Retro Rick on yes. YouTube and Instagram and whatnot. Can't forget about yes, whatnot. Yes, I am on there too. And this is a $200 pack of sealed vintage Pokemon cards. Today we're going to give Rick a scavenger list of five items he has to find in a couple thrift stores today. And if he can find all five of those items, we're going to gift him the pack of Pokemon cards. And it'll be up to him whether or not he wants to open them on camera or oh, keep them. They're getting open. I got to tell you the five things you're looking for today. He just came right back to the t-shirts because he's obsessed with. Oh yeah, I love vintage t-shirts. I'm going to just steal that one off your back. Oh yeah, I got my uh, my Beatles. Oh Sergeant Peppers my thing. goodness it's, gracious! It's a nice shirt. It's a nice shirt. So five things you're looking for. Number one, a Tom Hanks DVD. Any DVD oh. featuring Tom Hanks. What's your favorite Tom Hanks movie? Forrest Gump, hands down. Number two, Pikachu. Could be a plush. Could be on a shirt. You just gotta find something you with think, Pikachu on it. And it has to be just straight up. It can't be Raichu. It's Pikachu. It's gotta be Pikachu. Number three, an actual vintage T-shirt. It doesn't have to be profitable, just any t-shirt that's at least 20 years old. If I find a great one, can I keep the shirt though? Sure, still? yeah. Okay. Number four is a profitable pair of shoes. You gotta find a pair of shoes that you can make at least $20 in profit on after fees. Can I at any point phone a friend like Haley if I'm struggling? Sure. Okay. Last but not least, you have to find a profitable video game, something you can at least double your money on. This is gonna be tough because the video game selection at Goodwills in South Carolina is very slim. Okay. Very slim. So I'm doubling, up for it, doubling your money. I'm up for it. On Here a video we go. Game. I honestly think that the $20 in profit for the pair of shoes is going to be one of the toughest things for Rick to find today because he usually does video games and vintage items. He doesn't really do shoes a lot, but I've actually already found a pair of $20 profit shoes that I don't think he will guess in a million billion years. We got some little kids Jordans here. They're in great shape. Uh, kids shoes at this Goodwill are only $4.50. And as you can see on eBay, these things sell for you know, 33 bucks, 29, 36, $56 with the box. All these are in pre-owned condition. So that would be at least $20 in profit right there. I'm gonna leave them here to see if he will happen to pick them up. I don't even know where he is. He's over there. He's over there looking at the DVDs. But we'll we'll see if he finds them. What did we find? You've, You've got, got mail. mail with amazing, Tom Hanks. amazing, amazing movie. But uh, I actually think I get a bonus. Bo oh my God, Forrest Gump on oh, VHS. A, no bonus, Dang it. but that is a much cooler find than one down. than the DVD. One down. Rick's feeling good from finding the Forrest Gump DVD, but he's I, I he's struggling good. with the shoes. The shoes, the one that I'm most worried about. Like, yeah. I, I would tend to think athletic <laughs> shoes that I could maybe clean. Like, cause I, I actually get some killer shoes at flea markets. Yeah. I use uh, Rejuvenator. That's what I yeah, usually yeah, yeah, use. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I mean, do you have any idea what Ad these? Adidas, Adidas are tough. Those are kids shoes and they're not like, um, like Adidas Ultra Boost do really well. Okay. But like basic Adidas shoes like that, probably go for like 15 bucks. There so. were another pair these, this pair over here looked interesting right here, but you were saying that the thing is Rick, these are messed up right there. That's yeah. gonna kill the value. Keens are good if, if they have a little bit of scuff right there. So it's not a huge issue, but these are gonna be 650. Um, they might go for 20 bucks plus shipping. So not quite that $20 All right. in profit. Uh, these look, these are just cheap like Nikes, right? Those are point. cheap Nikes. The white ones are tough. I mean, it's it takes a lot of work to clean them. And then okay. even if they're clean, they might sell for 20 bucks plus shipping. Okay, so uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking. Gotta keep I'm looking. looking. Just take these from that kid. I, so put them down. I, I, did, I didn't have the camera on, but that kid picked these shoes up and I thought he was about to buy them. Uh, we actually picked those up a minute ago in the video and looked them up and they sell for like 40 bucks. Are you shipping. serious? Well, yeah. I was going to say the only reason why. <laughs> so the only kinds of shoes I have ever sold are kid shoes mm -hmm. because again, I'm a bubble mailer guy yeah. <laughs> and He's I can literally put these in my son. And the, only, and the only reason why I'm educated on this is because my son, he wears a different size shoe every three weeks. They're seriously. <laughs> They, so I, I'm, I haven't looked them up yet. You said they're around 30, yeah, 40? Yeah, they, they'll be $4.50 here to buy costs and sole comps are anywhere from like 30 to 40 bucks plus shipping. Two down. Finished shirt, Pikachu, yeah. and profitable video game. All right. Hey Liv, you found anything? Okay. Uh, what are those? Look these, up. these are Chacos. Oh, Chaco like closed toed um, Chacos. Yeah, they're women's like what would you call them like loafers probably loafers really sure. yeah like a woman's loafer i'd say probably like 25 bucks on these yeah i got one bro what you got well i had to pull an audible i was looking for vintage clothes in the adult section mm -hmm. no 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 you got kids go to the section kids. bro 19 it says 1995 right there oh is it vintage 
Uh, let's oh look no, at, let's is look at the it tag. not? Let's look at the tag. Is it not? It looks old, dude. That's old. That's yeah. I'll I'll give you that one. I'll what give do you that mean? One. That, that, hey, look, there's is... no there's no official date, but that's definitely vintage. Dude, there yeah. is no way that is not. That is some kid was wearing that back in 1996 on the playground. Yeah, it says yeah. size 70. Yeah, that's that's definitely yeah. vintage for sure. Don't you try to don't you do that to me? <laughs> but you know, Rick, now that I think about it. What? The scavenger item that you're looking for is a vintage t-shirt. Oh crap. <laughs> not a vintage sweatshirt. So that was very close, but I'm gonna I'm gonna say no on no. that. No! He immediately starts looking for a t-shirt again and he's like, I guess I can look for something Pikachu. <laughs> no. I mean that's kind of a that's kind of a large size. It almost looks like a pajama bottoms, but like yeah. that's like a that's like a big kid. That is <laughs> It's a big kid. I mean, I, I, to be honest, I'd probably wear them too if they're cozy. Yeah. If they, if they fit me. Yes. All so right. We got one down. So another, another one down. You're still looking for the vintage T-shirt and the profitable video and game. And the profitable video game is not going to happen here because how many video games are here? Zero. Josh? <laughs> Zero. Not only are there no profitable games, there's just no there's games not at all. A, a single game. So one Goodwill down, and Rick has already found three of the five scavenger list items. You are approximately three fifths of the way there. I, I, I feel good because the shoe one scared me the most. <laughs> Just as a reminder, if Rick is able to find all five items today, we're gonna get to give him this. And you said you're gonna open it, right? 100%. 100%. What? You, can't, you can't end like that. You don't gotta <laughs> stick around. We gotta see what's in there. I think there's a Blaine's Charizard in there. It's kind of like the heavy hitter. Yeah. Oh, there could be some good stuff in there. We'll see. $200 pack of it's, Pokemon cards. It's never been opened. 22 years, that thing has yeah. never been opened. But today it will be, well, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. Stick around. Second store on our scavenger hunt is the Dream Center resale store. Never been here, never even heard of this. I just Googled thrift stores, has five stars on Google. So we'll see if Rick can get in here and find the last two items, a vintage t-shirt and a profitable video game. Hey, I can grab, oh, I hear Joshy Poo. Joshy I hear Poo. a Joshy Poo. I don't know. You're the... real tough on me on this shirt thing. <laughs> Let's see. What's, what's the vintage considered? How old? 20 years, so at least 2002. 2003. Okay. All right, we got another thing though. Okay. So the, I'm guessing an X. The, the, uh, uh, nope. Made in USA, Platinum Plus. Hmm. Freeland, single. No, is it single? Is it? It is single stitch at the bottom. I don't, I don't know, that's the thing. It's like, how do you know? Mm. That's close. Made in USA, so that's typically something you're looking for? You're, yeah, like a good sign, made in USA and single stitch. These are never gonna be single stitch on the sleeves if they're long sleeve. Okay. I, I think, I think I'm gonna give this one to you. Made I in USA and single stitch. I think that's it. Did Luis, I do it? I think I'll give it that. Give and it. I found the 2003. I think yeah. combined there's something there. Yeah, yeah, we'll give it to you. So now you just gotta find a profitable video and game. And guess what? Not a video game. Here. Not a video game. There's not site. one video game. <laughs> we gotta go someplace else. Oh I don't think. We are at the third and likely, hopefully, final thrift stop of the day. Rick has found four of his five items. Uh, he just needs to find one profitable video game, something he can yeah. double his money with. I haven't found a video game, not, <laughs> we, not even we one. We should have just had that, just a video game. That would have been rough. That would have been just as hard, but we'll see. So good news, there is actually some video games here. Hmm. So games are one ninety nine. So you got to find something you can make at least. You got to double your money after fees. How much is this? One ninety nine. I actually think this might be a decent one to look at. I think. See that green? Rainbow. No. Rainbow Six Vegas Two. I'm gonna check on this one real quick. And we NBA 2K11. Actually, let me see that one. Ooh. Oh, Veggie Tales! Look at there. Oh man. Two discs. The green VHS, <laughs> man. All right, first one. Dollar fifty nine sold. Hmm. I'm actually now the case. Lose the case is not great on this. It, I mean, it's you'd have to switch out the case for mm -hmm. sure. But it is complete, and I actually think this one is worth a little bit. But. Okay. Doesn't look Is it great. worth let's, at least let's see. $4? Let's see. After fees? Uh, we got 16 free ship. Okay. Uh, 13 free ship. Okay. So what are you talking for shipping? Roughly three bucks, 350. Three, 350 probably. 350. 350. I mean, there's a little bit of profit. It's kind of squeezing, squeezing the orange, and you're gonna have to you're gonna have to get another Xbox 360 case from your house. How many how many is sold? No, Just scroll all the way down. 159 solds. That's actually pretty good. Ultimately, you would double up on this. I th I think. I mean, it is in rough shape, but it is complete in there. Well, let's see. Let's see here. Here's the thing. Let's see the cheapest one available right now. Manual only. So that's not complete. That's not complete. So the cheapest one available is 10. 
10 free shipping. So there is double up. That's there, a double up. I think that's I think that's a double up. Is it, it's, hey, in, it's in very rough condition. Is it, but, is it an exciting double up? No, but, but it does is. Does it technically meet the requirements? It does. I think so. I think it does. <laughs> I, think it, I think it does. Do you, do you ever sell VHS? Uh, I, I occasionally. So if you ever see, you know how people are always like, hey, I'm a millionaire, I got all my <laughs> Disney DVD, or Disney VHS. There is one. There's one? Cars. You oh, throw yeah. up a dang sold listing of cars. So, it's like thousands. I think I know this. Is it do because you know it was that? the last VHS, it was like given to like the production crew or something? It's something weird, but it's like cars and it's, it's not a clamshell. It's gonna be like a regular, like this. It'll just be like this. Okay. But I, I, I think they're a thousand, two thousand plus. So yeah. if you ever see cars on VHS, get that. Shark Tale, I remember this. Uh, the worst date I've ever been on in my life was to see this movie in theaters. Hopefully not uh, with Haley. No, it was, <laughs> it was uh, I was like 15 years old. It was a blind date and we went to see Shark Tale and we didn't really hit it off at first. And about 10 minutes into the movie, she leans over and she was eating something out okay. of a Ziploc bag. I'm like, what are you eating? And she leans over and she says, do you want some sauerkraut? She was eating sauerkraut out of a Ziploc bag on a first date to see Shark Tale. That's friggin' Sour weird. Crowd. We've come to a local small mom and pop coffee shop. Uh, I told Rick that I had tried iced coffee for the first time a couple weeks ago. Now I love it. He's like, have you had a Frappuccino? I said no. He's you excited. You haven't had a coffee milkshake yet, bro? I haven't. Big, so very, cool. very excited. We're going to go here and do that. And then we're going to open up this pack of Pokemon cards. $200 There's gotta pack be of Pokemon a cards. Blaine's Charizard in there, bro. Some sort of Charizard. Some sort of RK9. Is that what we're looking for? Arcanine? I would Arcanine? say Arcanine. Arcanine. I think you're a poser. You don't know nothing about I'm Pokemon. I'm a poser. I don't know anything. But we're going to open it up and see if Rick is going to ruin a $200 pack of Pokemon oh, yeah, this cards is a big deal. or find something worth more than $200. Shout out Retro Rick for buying me a green bean frap caramel. It's frap. not green. <laughs> it's not. It's a grande. GR is it grande. It says green bean right there. No, this is actually delicious. So shout out Starbucks. Shout out Rick. So uh, good. Thanks for being in the video today, man. I appreciate mm -hmm. that. All right, here we go. Here we go. This is crazy. This is crazy. I think I'm doing it right. I think I'm doing it right. So, so the three, trick, a, the card three. trick. So you basically take it and you go one, two, three. Three to the bottom. Now that should make this card the rare card. We so have no idea what we're doing. We have no idea. All right, here Ideally, we go. when we flip it over, the rare is going to be the last one. You got Raticate, Kadabra, but they're all like the person. So since mm -hmm. Sabrina, they're the, the trainer. Energy. Blaine's Volpix, Brock's Diglett. He's always like the derpiest looking Pokemon, isn't he? What's going on with it? Giovanni's Meowth, Misty's oh, that's a one. Staryu. Oh, are we at the, is there two? No, there's, oh, there's like four. Yeah, there's four or five more. Warp, Warp Point, Sabrina's Ghastly, Resistance, Jim, and. I think this is the last one. The rare. Oh, Giovanni's <laughs> Nidorino. Oh, man. Which is probably worth like a dollar. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I mean, they are vintage. They're from 1999. They and they're are, in great shape. They are. I get I some mean, of those graded. Really the thrill, bro. The thrill of opening something 22 years old. Absolutely. It's crazy. Bye, Rick. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Definitely click over here to head to Retro Rick's YouTube channel to check out some of his videos. And if you like the whole scavenger hunt thing we did with Rick, click this video up here and see a similar style video we did with Caleb from Phoenix Resale. Thank you guys again for watching. You're the best. We will catch you on the next one. Oh.